Hi, I'm Antonio Castilla and now solve an exercise in giving us an isometric perspective and ask us we draw the plant. The elevation necessary to represent the oblique side view, we now see in yellow. We began by drawing the plan in elevation. As not mark any direction, I will choose as elevation address. We draw the face, green. We have closer, we measured the distances A, B and C and draw th three perpendicular lines with those measures. Joining ends have sight of that face. Recall that in a perspective, cannot measure the angles. So ever measure the angle D. And linear measurements can be taken only those that go in the direction of the axis of perspective. Therefore one cannot measure the extent E. Let us now facing oblique elevation. The measure F we cannot take for not being parallel to the axis of perspective, but far G. Placed in elevation and already have three of the vertices of that face. The H measurement gives us the last vertex. By joining the four vertices have the oblique face in the elevation. To draw the central hole. As no parallel to the axis of perspective make him out to the corners of their axis parallel to their base and measure its distance I lines in its extreme J. Placing these two measures in the elevation draw a dash line. Similarly we measure the other vertices with coordinates K, L, M, N and G which led to the elevation lines give us the whole, although some overlap. Uniting the upper ends have exit hole on the oblique face. We continue with the plant, is formed by a square of side O. The upper and lower edges of the hole in the ground and match need their axes parallel to their perspective as R and P. Similarly measures are measured in the other three vertices by uniting we finish the plant. Now let the longest part, the oblique face and the exit hole that is about it do not look at true scale in either view. For it not to be deformed must do two auxiliary views. First post the sloped face projecting. I it look like a line. To do this we draw a horizontal line in the sum on the oblique face. The line can be made to any height. But in this case by chance the comfort and will go through two of the vertices. Going down that points to the ground and unite we will address from which the view. We draw a reference line or land line perpendicular to the direction of the new view. To draw the new view is advisable to place a letter or number to each vertex to know who unite. I usually name them with numbers and assign them to group several tens. A base vertices will call 10, 11, 12 and 13. By perpendicular took the points on the base frame as its dimension is zero we obtain directly. Uniting form the first line of the new view. We continue with the upper base, 20, 21, 22 and 23. We draw perpendicular from each vertex and measure the elevation in the elevation. Taking these dimensions to the new view, they come together and have the top, which is now projecting. We continue joining the side edges, you need only look at the order in which they are attached. So 10 is linked with 20, 11 with 21, 12 with 22 and 13 with 23. For the whole we follow the same procedure. From the bottom we vertices 30, 31. 32 and 33 to ground level to the new view. 
to the top of the hole 40, 41, 42 and 43. We can take the coat in the elevation or extend perpendicular to touch the projecting face. We connect the ends of the hole in the same order, 30 with 40, 31 with 41, 32 with 42 and 33 with 43, as we draw as a hole in broken line. We finish the first auxiliary view. The last step is to draw the second auxiliary view in which the oblique face will look without deformation. We establish a new reference line parallel to the face, like what interests us most is the oblique face do this first. The departures measured on the ground with respect to the first reference line. And we take the second view perpendicular to the second reference line. Uniting them in the same order we have the true shape of the oblique face. To complete this face also take the vertices of the hole. Similarly we measure the departures and took them to the second auxiliary view. Taken together we face with his true form to complete. Typically, the second auxiliary view, usually only the side draw was deformed. But in this case we completed the rest of the part. We focus on the underside of the piece. We measure the departures and again took the second auxiliary view. We connect its four vertices. Now joining the vertices of both sides together. The other end of the missing hole, the process is the same. Measure the departures. Take them to another view and join them. We must not forget to attach the ends of the hole. Finally, we complete visibility of the workpiece using the rules explained in a previous video. And this is the end result, elevation, plan and two auxiliary views needed for the sloped faces in his true form. A greeting from Antonio Castilla. Do not forget to subscribe, click I like and visit our Trezoida page.